Hi and welcome to Makeup Mugwump. My name's Leanne. There's Tiny. There's a bag right there for you. No, I don't want to pet you. <laughs> Good morning. It's Saturday. Let's get ready. We've washed our hair. It's wash day. We love wash day. It's the best day of the week. Um, there she goes. She doesn't stay long. I'm telling you. She's a jerk. Okay. Let's touch a silk canvas primer. I'm just, just, just going to power through this is what we're doing. Um, so we've got a couple of issues on skin today, which I will be 100% honest about because this is a little extreme even for me. So this is where the CPAP mask sits, is, is in a triangular shape around my nose. And I slept for 12 hours last night. <laughs> so that's a good thing. Uh, it's been a very tough week around here, and I'm happy that I slept so long, and it was a good sleep, but um, I think it, it does break down some skin when I have uh, contact for that long, plus it's moisture because, you know, I have a humidifier on in my CPAP machine, so it does it does uh, affect that. I've also had some dryness on my chin that is not typical um but it can happen during winter so um i have spent a little extra time between the shower and now uh, i used a sheet mask and this is the i used one of the ones that make you, it looks like an animal this is uh, it's got stuff all over it because i sat it down on it but anyway um this is the dragon one this is one that um mr mugwomp gets me sheet masks that make you look like animals because He's Mr. Mugwump. And so that one uh, looks amazing on. Okay, so we're just kind of being delicate, but you can see the outline of where that mask sits on my face today. It's just a little bit more extreme than usual. So that's fun. <laughs> we'll see uh, if we can't uh, do some pretty decent coverage. I am going to mix two foundations together today. Um, I'm going to mix the ColourPop Pretty Fresh foundation. I want the, I want the moisture from that. My bottle is splurting. Is anyone else's like, what's going on with that? Like, are we, are we, do we have an, in a, like, do we have an issue with the pump? What are we doing? I mean, it looks like it's, there we go. We'll just, we'll just drip it off the pump. That's fine. And then I'm going to mix that, uh, oh, by the way, I have this in Fair 20N. We're going to mix it with the Physician's Formula Butter Believe It. Um, this is in Fair to Light. Bad Boy is super dark, but super moisturizing. And so I'm, I'm hoping these two together uh, will make a decent, first of all, color because the, the Physician's Formula is too dark, but also that I can kind of use my foundation to add some more moisture onto my face today because it needs it today. So we're going to, we're going to kind of use makeup as skincare a little bit too. I mean, I've put all the things on, uh, you know, to make sure that I've done my whole skincare regime and everything else, uh, left off anything that would be potentially harsh. And, you know, I did use last night, I used uh, the Ordinary Lactic Acid and um, Niacinamide and all that. So I might like kind of re-examine everything that I'm doing tonight before I go to bed. Um, especially if I'm, um, you know, if I sleep 12 hours with that thing on, I want to make sure that I'm not. Oh, shoot. Hey, Mr. Mugwump. I forgot to wet my sponge. I'm sorry. I didn't even think about it. Thank you. It's hard around here. Okay. So the dryness on my chin after I put on my skincare this morning, I could, it didn't, it no longer looked dry. Like it was, you know, it was not like extreme peeling or anything, but there was, um, good girl, tiny. You're going to get YouTube famous, tiny. 
by famous I mean everybody in the comments is gonna say hi to you thank you look he doesn't look at her that way she doesn't fall don't don't you give me side eye sis you lay down and you have a lovely time lay down so the other thing is using a sponge, obviously, uh, a damp sponge adds a little bit more moisture back in when you're doing a foundation like this. So I, I will, I usually go over with, over my foundation, no matter how I apply it, I go over it with a sponge anyway for brush strokes and such, but this helps to add just a little bit more moisture back in. And I think, I mean, that's, that's good enough. It, I'm still, I can still see, such a jerk. I can still see some redness there. And I'll try, I'll try a little bit more right there. Of course, I have hyperpigmentation and such that I, I like to cover up. But my nose is always a difficult place anyway. But it's, the redness is not on my actual physical nose. It's around it because that's where the mask sits. But anyway, lovely. If you wear a CPAP mask and kind of deal with the same thing, do, do you have a trick? Do you have, I know they sell like skin barriers and things like that. I don't have anything like that. I haven't gotten uh, to that point yet where I, I feel like I need, you know, to intervene. But winter is always harder. I use a lot more of the, oh, the words just left my brain. Did you see it go? The water in my tank and all that, like, it's, it's more because it's winter, but anyway, there we go. I think that'll work. That, those two foundations mix beautifully together, by the way. Like, that, isn't that pretty? And I try, I, when I tried out the Physician's Formula on my channel, uh, just by itself, it's far, it's far too dark. It's a beautiful finish, but it's way too dark for me. So I'm happy that those two go together. Don't know what's up with the pump in the Pretty Fresh, fresh Foundation, but it's having a moment. Um, that's okay. <laughs> So anyway, there, there's that. I think that looks really nice. And I think it works really well. Cool. Okay, so let's do some eye primer. We'll use the Revlon Candid Concealer. I uh, also wanted to tell you that I had um, a lovely subscriber mention in comments that she would like for me to do a Q&A video. I've been mulling that over because uh, it's a... Uh, I love those. When I when I find a, a YouTuber that I really like, I find myself like wondering other things about them that they don't necessarily reveal in their videos. And so I, I you know, I want to know certain things. Like, I don't know. <laughs> so I will definitely uh, do that. And I think I'm going to do it this week. So if you have any questions for me, leave them down below. I've got a post on Instagram. I've, I've pinned a couple comments on some other videos. Ask any question that you want. Doesn't necessarily mean I'm going to answer them all, but I would definitely love to uh, answer some of those for you. And uh, let's let's find out more. Let's let's you know I I ramble on in my videos anyway <laughs> about all kinds of things, but I'm sure that there are questions uh, that you might have that I have I hadn't even thought of that you might be interested to know about. So that's a thing. Let's do some under eye concealer today. Now yesterday I used. The Makeup Revolution one, and it, it went really well. So let's do that again. Um, I, I get a little bit on my finger. It's real, real thick. This is the, what do they call it? Conceal and Fix in Light Beige. And it, there's a ton of product in here. There's like 11 grams in, uh, in this. In contrast, this is the NARS. There's 6.2 grams in the NARS. Like, there's a ton of product. Almost double the product in the Makeup Revolution one. And I don't, I don't remember this being a thing that folks talked about. I think this was one that I saw on Ulta and thought, okay, sure, I'll try that. And it is, it's pretty sticky when you put it on. It's extremely good coverage. I mean, I dipped my finger in, put it on both, used that for both. Um, and then I, I blended out. It did really well um, holding up throughout the day. This color light beige is quite brightening for me. And so, but not crazy so. So, I mean, I have used this a bunch and it's like I've never even used it. This is a huge pot. I am, it's, it's a very pretty one. Sometimes Make It Revolution um, looks inexpensive. This, this line does not to me. It looks really nice. So, like, just 
aesthetically. You might not care about that. I do, because I want things to be pretty. That's why I married Mr. Mugwont. He's pretty. Y'all know that's not why. Oh, that was one of the questions, uh, was about how we met. I think I'm going to save that for our, um, Mr. Mugwump does my makeup. I think we're going to talk about how we met on that one. And I'm pretty sure that's going to be your Valentine's Day present from us to you. We're gonna, Mr. Mugwump is going to do my makeup and we'll talk about, um, how we met, how we got together and probably, I don't know if we'll, if we'll do wedding day or not or something like that, but we'll, we'll, we'll talk through it. We'll talk through us on that one. Okay. There's complexion blanked out. Yes. I, this is my favorite part is like I wake up looking like a red hobgoblin and now I come in here and I, I don't anymore. <laughs> it's it. All right. Well, let's use the Pat McGrath disgusting, disgusting powder. It's, the powder's not disgusting. My packaging is because I am a filthy, filthy creature. Okay. So let's do, we'll do some of this. Oh, I'm going to brush real quick on top of my eye. That way we set that concealer so that she doesn't crease like crazy. It's one crease, but you know what I'm saying. And then let's take the sponge and go right up on here. And that did really well earlier this week. I hope it does really well again today. Because there are many combinations of concealer and powder that does not do really well. <laughs> So when you find one, stick with it, honey. Stick with it. All right. Let's we'll use the makeup. I don't know why I'm makeup revolution all the time, but I, these are the things that I've got out. Uh, this is the makeup revolution powder foundation. In it's the conceal and define skin matte powder foundation with hyaluronic acid and cannabis sativa. Uh, in P one, she's a. I don't know why they have like a whole thing, but they do. So she's really pretty and. You can kind of see the grid. Yeah, I'm getting down there. So I'm getting really excited. I ordered, I placed an order from Ulta to get my birthday $10 off. So I, let me just get on my little bitch box, my rant box real quick. So I went to place an, oh, I just hit pan. <laughs> I just hit pan. Yes. Happy Saturday to you and me. Yes. Anyway, I went on to Ulta because I was going to do like the whole get my birthday gift because it's my birthday month. And, um, and they were like, oh, you have, you need $10 off of your order for happy birthday. And I was like, cool, I'll do that. So I, you know, put some stuff in there. The one product that I went there for is the L'Oreal Freshwear Powder Foundation, you know, kind of compact. I want to try that out because I love a full coverage powder like crazy. So anyway, um, would you just, yes, ma'am. And so I added the code for $10 off and then I went back and I was like, okay, how do I put my birthday gift in the, you know, in the cart and that kind of thing. You can't do both at once. You can't place an order and get $10 off plus your birthday gift in it. The birthday gift is a code and it, you can't do both. Those jerks. I was like, no, ma'am. That is not nice at all. Like, so I don't, I didn't get the birthday gift yet. I might have to place another order. This shirt, I love it so much. Obviously, well, not obviously to you. Jeez, Leanne, with the obviously. This is, I saw this one, I'm no good. It's my Harry Potter off the shoulder. It's from Torrid. I love it so much. And, um, I, I but it rolls right here. And I've decided that it's going to be okay that it rolls right there. I've just decided that we're going to have to live with it. And so here I am. So found out that. Um, eyeball pattern baldness is a thing for getting older. Thanks so much for letting me know that it's, um, just going to keep going. Cause look, I've got like, I don't want to have another birthday. I mean, I do want to have a birthday because I love birthdays, but man, we've got patches now that are missing. Oh man. So I probably should be using a little bit of a pomade because it's a little bit more full coverage than this pencil, but I'm going to uh, use this pencil up before I actually break out another product for eyebrows. So y'all just gonna have to get used to the ball patch. Just, it's all right. Y'all used to all kinds of things over here. Y'all used to it. Okay, so we are climbing on up there in subscriber count, which is awesome. Thank you so much. Everybody who's new, welcome. 
um, we, we, we crazy over here and we, we so happy to have you, but, uh, I would, I, I, I'm going to do a giveaway for 1000. So we're, we're a hundred and some odd away from a thousand subscribers, which is amazing. I did not think that we would be here this soon. I am just tickled. My pickle is tickled. That's gross. Um, so let's, let's get to a thousand. I'm going to do, it'll be a multiple giveaway. Like we're, we're going to have many winners. We're not doing this one person wins a thing thing. We're doing a lot. Okay. There's my breath, darling. My breath. All right. I pulled, I swapped out my, all my physician's formula palettes, cheek palettes for my benefit cheek palettes. So I got the little, the little things. So this one is the the Cheek Stars Reunion Tour. It's got Georgia and Cookie in it. Um, and this one is the Pink Squad. It's got uh, California and uh, Tickle in it. So we've got those to play with for the next, I don't know, several weeks. I love a cheek palette. I love it so much. And so I have been really enjoying using the Physician's Formula, just the ease of it. So we're going to use these you know, so let's, they smell so good, y'all. They smell so good. Um, let's use the Reunion Tour. I think this is probably out of the two, this is my favorite because Cookie is lighter than Tickle and I like it a lot. Uh, I, Dallas is like OG for me, but I do like Dandelion, which is in the other one. So, you know, th these are good. If you haven't tried Benefit Cheek products, um, there are a variety of ways to try them that are inexpensive. They have minis and these specific cheek palettes if you are patient, you can get them at like 50% off, which is about $30 if you are patient because they will go on sale not only at like an Ulta situation, they they, they sometimes are the like a deal of the day. I got a lot right there. Um, and Or like in the however many days of beauty, 11 days of beauty or whatever it is. Um, they do they do occasionally show up there for 50% off and it's about about 30 bucks or if you are on benefits just regular the manufacturer website like they they will go on sale there as well they are worth $30 for six products there's a little a brush that goes here that I chuck because I don't it's too small for me to actually hold and use uh, my hands don't work that way. So I don't actually use the brush at all. Uh, but a lot of people do to, 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 to carve and do that. Uh, totally functional brush. It's just the handle is not long enough for me. So anyway, so there's a brush that goes here, but for, for five products, full size products, big old products, um, for $30 is, uh, a, a good deal. Uh, there's a mirror and it is, uh, really sturdy sturdy pack sturdy packaging it works really well so I would highly recommend these at the percentage off price um, not not that they're not worth the full price because the 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 pricing of these boxed powders individually is higher than what you know if you if you buy them all in here but it is and the, the, the storage of it is a lot easier than those boxes individually. But if you are, if you're really just looking for the deal, wait till it's 50% off in my opinion, and they will be. And when they bring one out, they'll, they'll knock the other one down and price and all that. Y'all, this cookie highlighter is so pretty. I, I know this is a lot of girls and guys favorite highlighter. It is very, it's blinding. I go real light. And I uh, only do one coat of it. So I think it's beautiful. I, I love it so much. This, I, I put on Dallas as my blush. It's a it's just a really pretty color. I love it so much. Georgia's a real pretty peach too. Sugar Bomb is one that uh, I actually like it. I, I use it as a blush. Um, and it's really, really pretty um, as well. In the other, in the pink squad, um, this one, this California, it still have the, has the overspray on it. It's I've used it around the edge a couple of times uh it's bright so it's 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 a lot dandelion is one of my favorite blushes this one has dallas as well dallas is my favorite benefit blush 
Um, so if it if, if I get one of if I get a cheek palette with Dallas in it, I'm happy. Um, so and Hula is in all of them. I've got some individual benefit products. I've got a Hula. I've got a Hula Light, um, and they're they are pretty. And I like them. Hula is not my favorite bronzer of all time. I can use it, obviously, and it looks just fine. Um, I, I can't go super ham because it is dark for me because I'm incredibly fair. But I can I can make it work. It looks great. I, I mean, I think it looks just fine. All right, let's spray face and then we'll do eyes. And I have a new thing for eyes. Try not to spray this in my eyeball like I did the other day. It just multiplies at night. We're like so close. I filmed my empties yesterday for the first time. Sometimes I know that like what the time of day that my videos post is random because it's when I um, when I actually can do them, and it's also when. The upload finally stops so you might it, it's not you know clockwork and I'm also not doing this for my job I do this in addition to my job and other things in my life so I am happy to just upload it whenever and the way that you can see new videos is just hit the little notification bell so that it alerts you when new videos come up or you can just go to my channel page and just see the videos that are there um, so yesterday I posted a videos a video, an empties video, because I had used up a good amount of products, um, and talked through those. It's a quick one. Um, I did kind of a rapid fire. That's the kind of empties videos that I like to watch is real quick, go through all the products and tell me whether or not you liked them and then you're good to go. So that's what I did and happy to keep collecting empties and using up stuff and telling you about them so that you like them. Okay. Here it is. Mr. Mugwump is the nicest man on earth. And let me tell you why. Um, aside from all the things, but he had already gotten, I guess, some of my Valentine's Day stuff. And I was having a very hard week. And through no fault of anyone's, it just was a very difficult week at work specifically. And in life, uh, some other folks in my life lost loved ones. And it's just been, it's just been hard. Even secondhand or thirdhand, this has been a, a very difficult time for many people. And your girl is an empath. Your girl's a Pisces. I, if you feel it, I feel it. I can't stop that. It's, that's who I am. Drives everybody crazy. But if you're in pain, I'm in pain. And I don't know how to turn that off. It's just who I am. So I've just embraced it. <laughs> so it's fine. It just is. But it is, um, it's, it also is very draining as a person. And so this week was hard for a variety of reasons. And he went uh, and pulled one of the things from my little Valentine's Day kit and he gave it to me. This is the Revlon so fierce eyeshadow palette and clap back he felt the name was great this is <laughs> clap back let's swatch it real quick um for you uh, i've seen these all over the youtubes right um some folks really like them some folks don't uh this is all shimmery kind of things i have I, my hand is slightly damp i have put moisturizer on recently but it's okay um, you, you can't really see the light one. It's very, very light, but it's shimmery there. I'll get a little bit more. It's shimmery and pretty. There it is at the front. So I think I'm going to use all four shades and do a little eye look with it today. Um, super excited to try it. I haven't, I haven't, you know, haven't used this formula before. I don't know that I have any other Revlon like eyeshadow palettes. I have, um, some cream shadows from Revlon that are that are fine and they work really well but I don't I don't think I've actually used a palette like this so I think what I'm going to do I'm just going to talk it out real quick I think I'm going to put this in the outer corner in the crease and then the purple maybe on the lid uh line with the blue and then inner corner with the really 
light shade. I don't know. Let's just try it. I have no idea. They're really cool in texture. They have like a wavy, I don't know if you can see, like they're wavy in the pan. There you go. Now you can see it. It's weird, <laughs> but cool. I mean, it's different. It's, whoa, okay. <laughs> um, well, that, that brown is pigmented. Okay. Okay, well, we got brown. Okay. Jeez, Leanne. I was thinking this was going to go lighter on the eyes than it did. Okay, well, it's fine. We will make it work, kids. We will make it This is a Morphe M503. So, I got a couple of, um, I think I got a L'Oreal concealer, the Age Perfect concealer that goes with all that, um, age perfect line that they have. I have not used that yet. And, and Ulta was having a buy one, get one 50% off. And I was going to, I was going to get the fresh wear, um, powder foundation anyway. So I went ahead and got that because I thought I'll try that. So we'll have that to try as well. Um, Ulta's pretty decent at shipping here. So it may be, it may be late next week. I'm not sure. It just depends. I haven't gotten the shipping notification, but I placed the order pretty, pretty late last night. So, um, it's not going to be okay. 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 <laughs> Let's onward. This is not bad. I mean, I sort of chunked it down and placed, glad I placed it where I did. <laughs> this is hurting the muscle right there. Man. This is the Morphe M532. That's the 503, this is the 532. I just pick up Morphe brushes like when I'm in an Ulta, um, if they're on sale at all. I like, I, I will pick up a Morphe brush. Um, I like them. They, they work really well for me, but I never pay full price for them. <laughs> ever, 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 okay. Are they even? I think so. Okay. Well, now that we know what the brown applies like, let's see here. Let's get, um, this is, huh, this makeup brush is fabulous. This was one of the first times, well, it was the first time that I did the image or secret Santa. My secret Santa sent me this makeup brush set from Amazon. And I love them. It's also the highlighter brush that I use. Like, this has been, I don't know, five years ago. They have held up so well. I've washed them, done the whole thing. They have held up so well. Never in my life thought that they did great. That purple is stunning. Look at that. Look at that. We're a lot smokier than I thought. Well, they're just pigmented. <laughs> so they're, it's going to be smokier. Wow, that's pretty. Y'all, I don't know about the other ones, but clap back is so far so good. This is lovely. Well, and I thought this would be much lighter. So I don't know if that blue will make a good liner up top, but maybe we could do a lower lash line with the blue. Wow. Right? Like, that's really pretty. This brush is dry, so I don't ever put anything on wet. Okay, let me get up close. That is gorgeous. And like very little fallout. That's really pretty, y'all. That's really pretty. So again, I put this in the outer corner and crease and then this on the lid. That's pretty. Okay. Okay, let's do the inner corner with that light shade. 
Where's my anaconda brush? Where you at, boo? Y'all, somebody come in here and stole my brush. Oh, there it is. <laughs> okay. The inner corner with this. Oh, okay. Oh, y'all. That works. All right, now let's do the blue under. Should we try the blue on top or underneath? Let's see. Let's try it on top and see if it works. If it if it doesn't really really show, then we'll do underneath too. This blue is a beautiful color in the pan. Okay, it is showing as a a a little bit darker because it's so concentrated but it's not showing that it's like blue blue so i think we are going to do underneath too but let's just line real quick with this like you can see there's a it's a little bit blue but because it's over the purple and the and the brown it's not showing as vibrant as i'd like it to show so let's but it does help did i just turn that brush sideways well wow. I like it on top. That's fine. That's what she said. Ooh, that's cute. Isn't that cute? We'll do something cute in the waterline too. blend just a little bit okay <laughs> yeah, that's so cute I'm so excited y'all 10 out of 10 like 10 out of 10 Mr. Mugwump good job I also was using my Vizzy Art neutral mats because I needed a cream to kind of set up top okay let's find a really cool like bright inner waterline blue do we have like an like an electric blue I know I've got one like over here I've got a couple of blues like this kind do I have like a little what is that? That's a ColourPop gel cram liner in Shadow Down. Nope, Showdown. Get over here, girl. Get over here, girl. That's fun. Isn't that fun? Yes. Cute, 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 cute. And let's pop a little black up top. What is this one? Cover Girl Ink. Ink it. In black ink. I have no idea if this stays or not. We'll tight line with it. There we have it. All right, let's do some lashes. I'm so excited. I love a good eye look. <laughs> oh, I love it. What mascara are we gonna use today, kids? Oh. Mm. Mm. Let's 
to use Catrice Rock, Rock Couture and maybe the Tarte Surfer Curl. I don't know if I use those two together. Let's give it a whirl. Contact decided to try to do a runner, but I think I got it bad. All right. I think we'll start with Rock Couture. It's got one of these. So plastic, bristle, real straight, chubby. I only do lower lash mascara when I have done a lower lash line. Like I don't hardly ever do it without doing a lower lash line. I don't know why. There's no rules. You do whatever you want. But it's on, I don't like how it looks on me. So I don't do it. But I always do it when I do a lower lash line. I don't ever not use mascara. When I do a lower lash line. There you go. Okay, there's one. It's not super impressive, this mascara, but it's open and we're using it. I think I opened it for a full face of Catrice. Um, Catrice is a sister brand to Essence, and Essence mascaras are amazing. The Catrice mascara is not amazing. I feel bad. Oh, that's nice. That's <laughs> Do I have like a chunk? I hate it when they chunk together. Unless I'm going for that and I'm not going for that today. Oh, yes, queen. Get it on you. Yeah. <laughs> okay. We'll wait for that to dry. My beauty mark over there. So fancy. <laughs> All right, we'll let that dry. I still feel like it's a bit chunky over there, but it's okay. And then lips. What do we want to do? Um. I mean, I just I'm a nude person. That's what I am. So let's do a nude. Ulta lip liner in flesh. I did a pinky yesterday. I did a pink color yesterday. Like for a change. Sorry, I can't talk to this at the same time. I just can't. I do not have skills. But what nude, though? That's the question. Let's do... This is cool. Do we want to do, like, concealer lips? Yeah. I don't know if that I use this on my channel. This is the Milani Keep It Full. It's a plumping, um, nourishing lip plumper. This is an almost natural... It's a big old chunky thing. I wipe it off because there's too much. And I wipe it off hard and there's still too much. It's a lip plumper. You can feel it. It has a similar intensity to a buxom. If you're okay with buxom, you'll be okay with this. Look, I'm not okay with the Soap and Glory Sexy Mother Pucker ones. I can't handle those. Um, cause they actually hurt. I think it's the ingredients. I think that some ingredients are more irritating to some people than others. And the soap and glory ones I can't handle. Um, but the Milani I can. Goodbye, Beauty Mart. You were cute in French while you last. 
Here it is. There's the face. Do we need like a little bit more blush? Do we need some more blush? Maybe. Let's put a little bit more. Just a little. I don't ever hardly do this, but I kind of do. If y'all watch Allie Glines, she puts on more bronzer every dang day. I swear. I'm like, honey, we all know you're going to put on more bronzer on, so just start with it. But she doesn't. But I think I do need a little bit more. Yeah, just a little bit. Gosh, this smells so good. Just a little bit. Mm. Cute. I love it. I love this eye look. Thank you, Mr. Pond. This is so cute. I love it. Yay. Thank you so much for watching. I am going to film my palette parade week five of using a different eyeshadow palette every single day. And I'll tell you all about the ones that I have uh, this week. I've got some new ones this week and uh, some some interesting thoughts about some of them so uh stay tuned for that hit the little notification bell if you like this video also give this video a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed already i would love to have you as part of the family hit that uh, subscribe button thank you so much for watching y'all have a great rest of your day bye